Hillary Clinton, the crooked one, is back in the news. Hillary Clinton, back in the news. State Department identifies 23 new violations, multiple security instances concerning Hillary Clinton's email. Ooh. Oh, I know. <laughs> ah, the Trump people. Oh, it's coming. Oh, my God. It's all coming down. Look at Hillary. He's going to lock her up. He's going to lock her up. Oh, my fucking God. I can't believe it's happening. I can't believe it's happening. Q said it was going to happen. They're going to lock her up. He's going to fucking lock her up. So that's going on. So Hillary Clinton is back in the news. Back in the news. So who's reporting? Fox. Fox News reporting. This is pretty good. This is good stuff, right? So William Barr, uh, the new AG, is going through his files. He's sitting in the State Department saying, yeah, shit doesn't smell right, man. It doesn't smell right around here. Got to look at those emails. Got to pull up. To, let's pull up Hillary Clinton's. We got nothing to do, right? We're hanging out. Right? Fuck, let's pull up. <laughs> let's get a good laugh and pull up Hillary Clinton's emails, right? Wasn't she supposed to get locked up? And fucking what happened to that, bro? Trump, man. Fucking yo, man. Yo, fucking. Let's call Trump, man. Fucking. Yo, Trump, man. We're going to fucking lock the bitch up, man. Fuck. <laughs> Is that, that's probably the way they talk to each other, right? Yo, you're going to lock her up or what? Fucking Trump's guy grabbing his balls. Yo, yo, William, man. Lock the bitch up. This is so stupid, man. It really is. I mean, this is three years later, and we're still talking about Hillary Clinton's emails and the scandal that we know full well that she's a liar, a fucking scumbag, and a you know a thief, and a, an embezzler, and a killer. Uh, we know we know who Hillary Clinton is. So let's look at the new evidence that the the wonderful State Department under the the wonderful William Barr has uh, presented to us. The State Department revealed Monday that it has identified, quote, multiple security incidences, unquote, incidences, not crimes, involving current or former employees handling of Hillary Clinton's emails and that 23, quote, violations uh, and other, quote, infractions have been issued as part of the department's ongoing investigation. Uh, these are These are internal, these are internal, problems within an agency where people get caught fucking fudging and or making a mistake they always say oh i made a mistake it wasn't a mistake uh, but of course we know it wasn't a mistake they were leaning away from hillary clinton anything that could make her look anything that was incriminating to hillary clinton they looked the other way and that's the nature of the corruption within these agencies it's not just doj or whatever the fuck it's all over the place even in the in the municipality level here my experience at the at the city level, working for a city agency, New York City, right? It's very connected to the Democratic Party. It was just like that. Everything was like shush, shush, shush. So let's let's go, let's look at the story here. The information came into a letter to Iowa Republican Chuck Grassley, who was responsible for over, overseeing the security review. Right. Chuck Grassley has been pretty vocal about the uh at least he was two years ago, three years ago. I can't even remember anymore. It's only fucking, it's like two years ago. Two years ago. Lock the bitch up already. To, to this point, the department has assessed culpability. That's uh, wrongdoing. The department has assessed culpability to 15 individuals, some of whom were culpable in many security instances. Mary Elizabeth Taylor, the State Department's assistant Secretary of the Bureau of Legislative Affairs wrote to Grassley. I love the titles they give each other. Assistant Secretary to the Bureau of Legislative Affairs. Wow, she's important. Listen, did you hear that title, man? She is important. So DS has issued 23 violations and seven infractions. Infractions. Uh, infraction incidences. This number will likely change. Enter politicians. Now, Donald Trump, wow, the State Department said it has identified 30 security instances involving current or former employees and their, and their handling of crooked Hillary's emails. This is really big. Never, never admitted before. Highly classified material. Will the Dems investigate this? That's politics, right? It's all politics, right? As if, like, he's the president of the United States. He runs the, the State Department and the FBI, who's under the State Department, and he's saying, well, will the Dems investigate? 
because they're not interested in truth. They're interested in spin, because they know that the dem, you know, essentially the Democrats, if they do it in 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 the House or the Senate, they're going to get a. Um, they they want he wants the the dirty Democrats to admit that Hillary Clinton is a is a beast, right? And it, it ain't going to happen. You have to prove it, Mr. Trump. You have to prove it by what? By what? But how do you prove it? You lock her up. That's how you do it. You lock her up, bitch. That's how you do it. Uh, you don't you don't sit around crying. Oh, fucking Democrats! The fucking Democrats didn't do anything. The fucking Democrats, oh, baby, big big baby, Trump baby. The state called the State Department calling the matter serious. Quote serious. This is expected to conclude the investigation. Uh, by September first, hmm, that's not that's not June. Hey, fuck it. Wait, look, we waited how many years? We waited three and a half years. This has been going on since 2011, right? Just the it only came to the bubble to the surface in 2016, but it's been going on since 2011. Hillary Clinton's mishandling of of classified information, deleting thousands of emails, right? To because why? Because they had a quid pro quo operation going on inside of the State Department. You give money to the to the Clinton Foundation and Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton turn around and they give you a government favor. That that's it's well documented, right? It's not it's not a that's not a conspiracy theory. That is business as usual. That's how business works. And that's why the demo, business and politics works, and that's why the Democrats are quote, silent on it, attacking Trump because he's he he he's talking about it. I mean, is Trump really, you know, exonerated from doing the same exact thing? You know, you know, put something in my account, I'd give you a favor. I mean, of course, right? That's the the problem is money in politics. Given the volume of emails provided to the department from the former Secretary Clinton's private email server, the department's process has been, necessary, necess- has been necessarily more complicated and complex, requiring a significant dedication of time and resources, Taylor said. Yeah, it's fucking hard. Open up the emails and, and look, look for the little stamp that says classified. When it's classified, she's violated Section 18 of the, the Espionage Act or whatever. Lock the bitch up. It's not, it's not that complicated. It's not that complicated. It's rather easy. But now it's becoming convenient, right? Because Trump wants to, they want to roll that shit out on a silver platter as the Democrats run through their primaries, right? And keep smearing them with crooked Hillary's garbage. Right? That's the strategy, right? Because no one's going to get locked up, right? They're not going to lock shit up. Right? Trump is a fucking fraud when it comes to that shit. In every instance in which the department found an individual to be culpable of a a valid security violation or two or more infractions, the department forwarded the outcome to the Bureau of Diplomatic Security Office of the Personal Security and Suitability Division (laughs) to be placed in an individual's official security file. It's it's just like, it's a slap on the wrist. Is that what this is? is, Because don't hold your breath. This is not criminal. These are incidences within an agency. And some of those people are already fired. So what are you going to do? You're going to—they're already gone. What are you going to do? Fire someone that's not there anymore? Oh, you're going to put something in their file and smear their record? Who cares? Who gives a shit? Lock them up, right? It, they're crimes. They're crimes when you hide, when you're when you're when you're falsifying documents with a with a greater objective, which is to 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 exonerate a guilty person. Then we have a we have a serious issue. All valid security instances are reviewed by DS and taken into account every time an individual's eligibility for access to classified information is considered. whoop de fucking do If they're not there anymore, it doesn't matter. This referral occurred whether or not the individual uh, was currently employed. It's, that's bullshit. The State Department declined to release the names of the employees, consistent with its procedures. So they're not even going to smear anybody. It's just now, it's just hearsay. We got them. Oh, we got him. Oh, wait, wait till September 1st. We got him. No, no, no. They'll run that one from June, July, August. Oh, we got him. Oh, fucking Q is going to be on the board. 23. Oh, 23. Oh, my God. 23. 23. They're sealed indictments. They're sealed indictments. They're going to lock them up. <laughs> Clinton's private 
email use was remind, uh, remained in the spotlight as DOJ looked into the potential misconduct in the handling of federal authority surveillance and intelligence operations in 2016. FBI Director James Comey said in 2016 that Clinton's handling of classified information was extremely careless. <laughs> Remarks that were watered down from their original draft. No reasonable, pro- no reasonable prosecutor would bring charges. It's so untrue. I mean, every any reasonable prosecutor would have locked Hillary Clinton up. I think uh, Rudy Giuliani did the best job, and uh, Trey Gowdy certainly did, of showing you exactly, you know, why she should have been prosecuted. Maybe not found guilty, but prosecuted. You indict. You indict and then let, let her confess. It, it emerged early uh, this year that the FBI general counsel, James Baker, testified that he thought Clinton should have been prosecuted. Oh, it's fucking too, too little too late. How much more of this crap? Uh, and last month, the trove of partial re- redacted FBI documents from the agency investigating. All right, so there's this is a whole lot of shit going on here, right? And... Um, You know, in March, it was revealed that the Justice Department negotiated an agreement with Clinton's legal team that ensured the FBI did not have access to emails on a private server related to the Clinton Foundation. FBI agent Strokes testified about the arrangement. There's so much corruption, right? They, they, They covered, they covered. Obama gave cover to Lynch, who gave cover to all of these characters, right? You know... This is just what it is. They wanted Hillary Clinton to be president. They thought that it was a, a foolproof idea. Get her in, and then she's she runs the joint. She's just deleting all the documents, which is what she does. She's a liar and a thief. Want to watch? We'll end on the. Uh, I'm a little sick of this already. Let's watch the uh, Hillary Clinton at her prime. Remember when she lied about Bosnian sniper fire? It's one of my favorite videos. I, I fall asleep to this video. This is Hillary Clinton, right? She comes out and says. She was on a on a trip, and she had a duck Bosnian sniper fire, and then it comes out that it wasn't that at all. That she was she was greeted by children on the tarmac. Let's watch the video. Hillary Clinton's attempt to tout her foreign policy experience hounded her again on the campaign trail today. I made uh, you know I uh, made a, a mistake in in describing it. I she claimed this is when she was running against Obama, two thousand eight. She misspoke last week and was sleep deprived when she described landing under sniper fire in Tuzla, Bosnia, something that didn't happen. But CBS News. What's interesting too is that she doubled down. Right, she she said it three or four times as Bosnian sniper fire fake thing, and then she doubles down. Oh no no, I was sleep deprived the other day when I said that. But there's three or four other instances where she said it. So she's she's not just a liar. She's a she's a pathological liar, a a a um, a you know a methodical evil fucking kind of liar, right? Can't never admits a wrong, never. News has found several times in the past few months when Senator Clinton used the Bosnia trip to try to show her international experience. December in Iowa, you know, we landed in one of those corkscrew landings and ran out because they said there might be sniper fire. I don't remember anybody offering me tea on the tarmac when that was happening. Then in February. The welcoming ceremony had to be moved inside because of sniper fire. And last week. uh, I remember landing under sniper fire. We basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. After CBS News video showed what really happened when she landed and greeted officials, Senator Clinton maintained there were risks but explained to the Philadelphia Daily News why she was seen on the Bosnian tarmac greeting a young child if it was really so dangerous. I was also told that the greeting ceremony had been moved away from the uh, tarmac, but that there was this eight-year-old girl, and I said, well, I I can't can't rush by her. I've got to at least greet her. So I greeted her, I took her stuff, and I left. Now that's my memory of it. Good to see you. Once again, her memory doesn't match our videotape. What the <laughs> fucking she and her daughter Chelsea lingered on the tarmac to greet U.S. So military officials. Took photos. There was the group of seventh graders on the tarmac, too. And then Senator Clinton walked to the armored vehicle where she did eventually duck and enter. Senator Clinton hinted today that her own staff you know what I mean? Like this is this is the here's here's uh I gotta give I gotta give it to you. The government will one day this is Thomas Jefferson uh, quote. The government will one day be corrupt 
and filled with liars, and the people will flock to the one that tells the truth. Thomas Jefferson. Are we in such an age right now? Are we in such an age? 2016 sure looked like it. It showed every promise that we were in that age where, where people would flock to the truth. People will flock to the truth, right? People will try to, you know, stuff the truth, right? And then maybe some journalists come along, try to profess the truth, try to stay in the truth regardless of what the story and the st- how the story swings. Now, Hillary Clinton should have... I mean, it's, it's, a, it is a, it's a national disgrace that Hillary Clinton is still walking around a free person after all of this. And not only that, that the, that the entire Democratic Party supported it and, and championed it in light of the fact that, and that was, that was really minor, the email tobacco, her, her. It, it's minor in terms of just how evil and just how corrupt this, this uh, uh, person is, right? So is anything going to come of it? Is anything going to come of the new 21, the new 21, in, uh, 21 incidences, the 23 violations? Is, it, is, it, is this going to lead to the locking her up? Is this going to lead to the, the, the cata- cataclysmic collapse of the, of, the, of the Hillary Clinton, you know, fucking monster? I don't think so, man. But it's a nice try, man. It's good politics. Good, something fun to talk about, man. Fucking Hillary Clinton. Marcus Conte reporting.